guys, Jake's off here, and uh, I wanted to show what I've been working on lately. Uh, something pretty exciting, I think. Um, a lot of the major proprietary boards out there have a way to control the saber uh, and do configurations via your PC. And I've been working on an app that allows you to do that with an Arduino or a Dioino board. Um, this firmware that's on this uh, Saber is specifically designed for the upcoming Stardust board. So, Andres, as soon as you can get me one of those, that'd be cool. I uh, can't wait for those to go on sale. But uh, getting to the app, um, it comes up with a login screen like this. And I've already plugged in the uh, cable to my Saber. And the Dioino's in there. And uh, that's just a USB cable. The other end's in my computer. And select the right COM port. I'm using COM4 and hit connect. All right, so now that's waiting for a connection. So we go over and push the button on the saber. waiting for a connection all right so now we're connected to the saber and we can change a few things in here I tried to follow the same uh, paradigm that I did with you saber we've got blade controls you've got uh, sound and sound timing and you've got uh, motion settings and this is uh, it's going to be general options, but uh, you know I haven't implemented that yet. And up at the top, you've got a toolbar where you can save the settings to the saber. You can uh, reload factory defaults, disconnect, or just quit the application altogether. Um, so the most exciting part that people are probably going to see is this part where you can change the uh, profile of your blade, so you can preview your current settings. Uh, I've been playing around with this so these are not the defaults right now but hit preview on that you can see it turns on the saber and you can see what that looks like with the flicker effect applied. Let's so say I want to try a different flicker effect. Try that and there's a different one still. Or say I want to turn the flicker completely off. I happen to know that zero is disabled so that's just solid. So you get a five second preview of that. And you can do the same thing for the, you know, the clash flash color, uh, hit preview. And that's what that color is. So if you decide that you don't like those uh, and you want to change it, you can either scroll to available prefets, presets that the uh, firmware supports. So let's go to the first one. Uh, see, that's, that's just looks like basic red. And yeah, with a little bit of something mixed in here. I wanted zero there. Uh, so the way you read this is this is channel 1, channel 2, channel 3. I didn't give them names like red, green, or blue because in theory you could have any color dye wired up. Um, so I didn't want to box you into RGB. You could be using uh, cyan, amber, white for all I know. Uh, so let's say that you scroll through all these you know and you just you just don't find a color that's really, you know, your taste. You want something special. Go into here to the modify button. And here you can live change channel one, channel two, channel three. You can change the output levels here. So see that must turning that down. So it must be, you can see right away, this must be green. This is blue. And this is red. Now I should point out that this whole thing is being powered right now off of uh, the USB from my computer. Um, if we want it a little bit brighter, I'll pull the kill key out. You can see what that really looks like. And now you can see that's obviously much uh, much brighter because it's using the lithium-ion battery that's in the Sabre and you can tune this you know 
it's a little more dramatic with the battery powering it. You can make it, obviously if you set them all the same, you'd expect that to be white. And it's more or less white, you know. If you wanted that to be like a pale blue, eh, let's go with that. Crank that. Another nice thing about this is if you discover that you really can't notice much difference in brightness, you can dial it back a little bit uh, and make your battery last a little bit longer than the defaults that I have set up where in the defaults at least one channel is fully cranked. So if you wanted like a or like a night mode or something that you didn't need it quite so bright, you could choose to dial it down a little bit if you wanted to. So let's just, uh, I don't know, what do you guys feel like? How about like a red orange? that okay so when you're done hit okay it'll turn the blade off and you can do the same thing uh, with any of these you know you can modify that here if you didn't like that clash color you wanted to change it to be more uh, well, let's make it a little more red and maybe turn that down a little bit so that's kind of a nice yellow okay so you want to go with that and here you can change the sound timings. Now this changes things like how long it takes for the blade to ramp up uh, and how long if, if you've got like a sound font that has like a little noise or something in the beginning of it and uh, you don't want to start up right away, you can delay the blade ramp. This is how long the blade takes to ramp up and that's good to synchronize that with your sound font sounds. And same thing here for the power down, if you're powering down uh, you want that to synchronize with your sound font so you can change the power off time and this button here allows you to see what that sounds like and looks like so I'm going to move my microphone uh, next to the Sabre now so that you can hear it All right, so there you can see what that's like uh, with these timings now I've got it tuned pretty well right now but let's say you didn't let's change this to be something too short that's actually not as dramatic as I was expecting so let me uh make that even more way way too fast so that's actually <laughs> ending up pretty darn cool looking on camera <laughs> so let me make it too long instead let's see how that goes like a full three seconds this is these times are all in milliseconds by the way so let's make it a full three seconds so that's that should be way out of time with the sound Now you can see there the blade ramp took took way way too long so let's put that back to something more reasonable okay so my mic wasn't next to the saber on that one so you probably couldn't hear it but that's that and you can change a few other things like the blaster flash time uh, like how long it, it stays at the flash color when you have a blaster how long to uh, suppress the swings after a blaster event and a few other little things that are nice to be able to change here and here's your volume so right now you can see it, it's set pretty low right now because uh, trying not to wake anyone up Okay, and the last thing I've got implemented here is these uh, motion settings. So if you want to, I've got these tuned pretty well, but you can change the, the swing tolerance the uh, and the clash tolerance and the twist tolerance. I haven't implemented anything on the firmware that takes advantage of twist right now, but that is something that is supported. Um, I'm not going to mess with these because these are tuned pretty well, uh, but if you want to, you can mess with these. 
Um, well, actually, now that I'm in here, I'll just I'll crank that back up. I had that turned super sensitive for uh, testing purposes because uh, it's on my desk. I was trying to test clashes and I didn't want to have to hit it very hard. 60 is a good number. Um, those numbers are kind of arbitrary 10-bit values, um, so they're kind of hard to describe, but you can change them if you want to. And so now up here we're going to go save the settings to the saber and what that'll do is that'll send the settings down okay and it did it <laughs> there's not much to see so now i'm just going to uh, quit this application all right so now let's try out our settings on our saber See those settings uh, stuck. I've uh, unplugged the uh, saber and rebooted it, and uh, all the settings were saved. Um, there is a menu system uh, in the firmware itself that I've been working on. Uh, hold down the button. DIY Eno. DIY Eno. Set sound volume. You can set the volume here if you want to. Um, it's set up for one button operation. So that's as loud as it gets, then hit it again, and now it's all the way down. So just let's crank it up so you can hear it. It basically loops around. Set main blade color. Now here you can scroll through uh, the presets. Now remember the software that was on the PC allowed you to change what those presets are, but here um, we can. Oops, hit the right button. It helps. So here's you know. The, most of the rest of these are the default presets that I programmed in. Got 12 of them. Set flash color. And you can change the flash color the same way. It's That's pretty much all there is for the menu system. I, I plan to expand on that, but... So I've reconnected the Saber, and we're gonna connect to it again now that we've had it on and played with it a little while. All right, so it's ready for connection. That'll connect. Okay, so now we're connected. Now if we go look at, remember we changed the blade colors? You can see now we're back to using some of the default colors, but if we, remember the one that we changed was this one? It retained that. And if you preview it, it is exactly the same way as it was. So, all this stuff is stored on the Atmel on the EEPROM. So it's just like, you know, saving a config file, except for it all goes to the uh, EEPROM instead of a disk. So, I think this is uh, going pretty well so far. There's a lot more that I would like to add. Um, I'll do it as I can. Um, like, for example, in the sound and timers, I'd like to be able to preview some of these other things, like the, you know, the blaster flash time and uh, you know, see what that actually looks like synchronized with the sound. So you can really dial it in and tune it to your liking. But uh, that's all I got for now. I uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching and uh, hopefully you guys are excited about this too. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.